And that's when I realized I have a real fear of potatoes. Fascinating. But Brian, how do you feel about that? Hmm. And this is your 124th in 124. Start the timer. What you saw there was a comedic interpretation of a Freudian psychoanalysis session, but do not worry. We actually don't do that kind of therapy as DPHs. What we offer is short-term consultative assessment-based and dynamically engineered help to get you back on your feet. And if you need the couch guy, we can definitely make that happen too. <laughs> we can also provide commanders with consultation to help optimize your unit's mental health performance. And now for the news. Congratulations to Senior Airman Hope from the Comptroller Flight. She was selected as the Air National Guard's Financial Management Airman of the Year for fiscal year 20. Not only that, she also returned from a six month last minute volunteer deployment to Southwest Asia. The wing recently completed a focus exercise. Yes, that drill happened only two weeks ago. During this exercise, each organization built plans to hone their wartime capabilities including a dedicated time to dust off their MOPP gear? It's mop gear, Ted. Mop gear, and don it to prepare for all potential conflicts. The 124th Maintenance Group and 190th Fighter Squadron teamed up to enhance their combat readiness by practicing integrated combat turns, more commonly referred to as ICT. The maintenance team rapidly loads, refuels, and launches the A-10. This is all part of the agile combat support role of the Air Force. ICTs are fun and all, but the Logistics Readiness Squadron participated in some intense training when they packed up and went camping across the street at the Assault Strip for their three-day UTA. This training included convoy operations, setup and teardown of tents, and even various vehicle operations training. The Munitions Flight held their annual Ammo Rodeo. This multi-day event stretches and tests their mission building of building up munitions for combat operations. Not only did they build up munitions, they had to transport them to a different location, tear them down, and then transport the pieces back to be built again, all in an effort to increase their combat readiness. Do you have a story you would like highlighted? Reach out to the Public Affairs Office to be featured in the next 124th in 124. Hmm.